Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Mu'minun verse 99 Hatta idha jaa ahadahum al-mawtu qala rabbim ji'oon Za'ali a'malu salihan fi ma tarad Qad kalla innaha kalimatun huwa qa'iruha wa min wara'im wa zakhun ila yawmi ubatu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning the state or the plight of the infidels who go on doing bad deeds and to the point, they keep on doing their bad deeds until the day comes when death comes knocking on their door. And then what do they say? They say, Rabbin Jiron, oh my Lord, send me back. <coughs> and what am I going to do? Send me back so that perhaps I might, I may act righteously. Send me back one more time and I will try to do my best. I will act more righteous. I will be more pious. Uh, and then it's mentioned that the person will say that I will act more righteous in that which I have left behind in the world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions kalla, never. Inha kalimatun huwa qa'iluha. It is simply a word that this person utters. They're just it's lip service. There's nothing, there's no substance behind what they're saying. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخُنْ إِلَى يَوْمِ يَبْعَثُونَ and in, and in front of such a people, there is a barrier till the day of judgment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, فَإِذَا نُفِخَ فِي السُّورِ And then when the trumpet is blown, فَلَا أَنْسَابَ بَيْنَهُمْ At that point, no ties of kinship, no ties, family ties will be of any service to them. وَلَا يَتَسَأَلُونَ And they will not even inquire of one another. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمَ الْمُفْيَعُونَ And whoever scales turn out to be light. Uh, sorry, whoever scales turn out to be heavy, then what happens? Those individuals are successful. And whose scales are light, those are the people who have only harmed themselves. And um, and what's going to be the result for them is that they will be in hellfire where they will remain forever. That's what Allah SWT mentions. But the saving grace for the believer is the differentiating factor for the believer is that they have the get out of Jahannam free card eventually. Iman, the faith that we have, the light of Iman, that is our get out of Jahannam card. May Allah SWT protect us from Jahannam in the first place. But if a believer is put into hellfire, they will not remain in there forever. Right? And that is the benefit of having someone even just say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. That is their najah, their, that is their safety from where? From Jannah, from hellfire. So in, this, in these verses, Allah SWT makes something really clear. That there will be regret at the time of death for certain individuals. And what are they going to say? Ya Allah, Rabbir Jiyun. Rabbir Jiyuni. Send me back one more time. La Ali Ahmed I'll be better then, I'll do better, I'll become better, I'll pray more, etc. But at that point it's too late. So these verses are a reminder for myself and then for you that time is short and we have to obey Allah SWT with the short time that we have. And we have to rack up our deeds in the hopes that our scales will be heavy on the Day of Judgment and then with the mercy of Allah SWT, He admits us into Jannah and Shura. We ask Allah SWT to give us the ability to act on what we said, what hurts, what we said, 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 what we said